Freemasonry, Theosophy, Jesuitism, and Catholic, uh, Catholicism. And we're going to end at 12 with a one-hour lunch break, okay? I'm going to try to get through as quickly as I can so we have more time in the second half and get through. York right, Scottish right, 33 degrees on this side. And then you have the York right degrees, many uh, much less. Three uh, degrees in the Blue Lodge, uh, culminating into Master Mason. I believe M&M is a reference to Master Mason. I don't know if the candy is, but uh, M&M, the artist. So anyway, you see up here, Order of the Knights of Malta, that's Catholicism. Knights Templar as well, associated with Catholicism. Uh, orders, uh, ancient Arabic orders of the nobles of the Mystic Shrine, or Shriners. You said the Shriner Hospitals over there. Just so happens that the Shriner Hospital has, happens to be on the same block that the Masonic Temple is, which is right behind there. In addition to the Mormon Temple, you can see Mormonism is Freemasonry. So... Who knows, somebody bought that block and what's been going up over there. Uh, here are 33 degrees on this side. Here are the degrees in the York right, culminating always at the top. You have co-masonry, which is female masonry. You also have uh, the orders of the, the Shriners, uh, which you saw FDR with the, with the Shriner fest. Uh, here is the Grand Lodge of British uh British Grand Lodge, 1717. You see the uh, checkerboard. You see the apron. They wear the apron because they believe that that's their covering for sin. Watch out for the counterfeit again. Here is the uh, Knights Templar and the use of the checkerboard. Uh, I believe that this is how they run. They put the pawns in front. They run the world this way. They protect the uh, elite. Here's that Master Mason's carpet. You see the Eye of Lucifer. You see the two pillars here. Uh, you see the Royal Arch in Freemasonry as well with the keystone. You saw some of that before. Here's the keystone again. I forget what the acronym means, but there's the pentagram. Look at the astrology going on. Uh, this is where my father uh, decided that he probably should not be a Freemason. Uh, the name of God, they tell you, is Jah Bol On. One part truth. Two parts lie. Jehovah, Baal, On, Osiris. Um, that's uh, the way that he does it. So he, well, it's, it's kind of strange, <laughs> isn't that? So anyway, making good men better is their their um, motto, uh, the Scottish right. And so you're trying to be uh, illumined, uh, and you're trying to improve your intellect. Uh, here's your uh, squares for your hands and your pillars for legs. Uh, you see the JNB here. This is a, um, a secret society uh, uh, image here. And then you have here a tarot card with B and J as well. Yakin and Boaz are the two pillars of Solomon's temple, the temple of God. You see here the true temple, Yakin and Boaz. You see here the Masonic temple with the two pillars. Those are the pillars of Hercules. They are counterfeits. And uh, why I say that is because here is the worshipful master sitting in the east. So you face east in the Masonic Lodge. And there is the sun. And the G represents the generative principle. I told you male and female. They usually put the G in the middle. It's male and female generative principle, the union of male and female. That way it's not God, even though they'll tell you he's the grand architect of the universe or whatever that's in the Masonic Lodge. And then you see west is uh, facing away from the sun, whereas the true temple east, you're facing the Holy of Holies toward the west. All it is is inverted. It looks the same, feels the same, but it's fundamentally opposite uh, from the true temple. So this is what they were doing underneath the temple is facing east toward the sun. So you have uh, Masonic emblems. Here's a Masonic A, compass, and the square representing by the, uh, the the bar in the middle being uh, like a square. Uh, the Aladdin's lamp. Uh, what is in an Aladdin's lamp? A genie. The word jinn for uh, is genie in is the Islamic world. Jinn is a demon. So you're just like Buddhism. Demons help you attain enlightenment. Uh, therefore, you allow demons to do that. You see the protected deities, and so in an Aladdin's lamp, you wish. And so now you can 
uh, gain certain things. Uh, so here's the uh, initiate in the secret society, and you can see how old uh, this is, uh, probably 17th century, and then you have uh, uh, the coffin being represented here, skull and bones. Uh, and so he's going to be, they have what's called, uh, they, raise, they have a baptism. And that initiation is a baptism. And uh, when George W. Bush is on TV and they say, are you a Christian? They interview him and George said, well, if you mean that I'm born again, then yes. They have a born again experience and this is what they do. Um, so he can call himself born again. All right. Here is um, uh, the double barred cross and the skull and bones emblem is a Freemasonry. You saw the keystone, down pointed star. Now showing you, I dearly love a Mason because a Mason's on the square. The man is on the female on the square. Love the square. The man loving the female, the square. You see, so male, female, showing you that. Are you a Mason? The girls all love a Mason because a Mason never tells. I wouldn't want to be married to a Mason if I were you ladies out there. Uh, Albert Pike, statue, Washington, D.C. Masonic statue with 33 degrees and a double eagle. Here's Albert Pike. He's an author of Morals and Dogma. Uh, the required reading, I don't know if it is now. Uh, here is Manley Hall. Another Masonic author, Lost Keys of Freemasonry, you see the uncapped pyramid with the enlightened man, the Luciferian torch, which is a Statue of Liberty torch, that is a Luciferian torch, and then you see the uh, triangle here with this aura of the enlightened man. Same book, different imagery, showing you the eye of Lucifer, and then of course the most famous Freemason ever, uh, George Washington on the same book, Albert Mackey, Encyclopedia of Freemasonry. There's a uh, woman hand over the bosom, Masonic symbol, pointing toward what's usually a, a Masonic Bible. There's other material in that Masonic Bible, and then um, you see the square and compass there. Every Masonic Lodge is a temple of religion, and its teachings are instructions in the universal, eternal, immutable religion morals and dogma, Lucifer the light bearer, strange and mysterious name to give the spirit of darkness, Lucifer the, the son of the morning, is it he who bears the light and with its splendor intolerable, blinds feeble, sensual souls, doubt it not, that's a uh, uh, reference to Lucifer, uh, 32nd, 30th, and 30th degrees, the Masonic religion should be by all of us initiates of the high degrees maintained in the purity of the Luciferian doctrine, <clears throat> part of the symbols are displayed there to the initiate, but he's intentionally misled by false interpretations. It is not intended that he shall understand them, but it is intended that he shall imagine he understands them. So they deceive you from the beginning. Um, and so there must be always be a commonplace interpretation for the mass of initiates of the symbols that are eloquent to the adepts that are so the only adepts, the high levels, get the true meaning. So you can say, hey, we're seeking the light. The light is the sun. No, you get to a higher degree. No, the light is the intellect. You get to the bottom, it's Lucifer himself, the entity Lucifer. And uh, I'm going to show you a Shriner Freemason. Lucifer, what is your problem? Just that, sir. Okay. I'm a Christian, sir. I'm pure and virtuous and wholesome and innocent. How can you say anything about me? Sir, you need to be born again. It's I am born again. Sir, yeah, I am did you born just again. say that you are Lucifer? I am Lucifer. Okay, define Lucifer for me. Pure, virtuous, wholesome, innocent individual that's out to help people. Lucifer is? Yeah. Listen, say that again. Lucifer is a pure, holy, virtuous. All right. So, uh, for the sake of time, I'm going to learn. Get out <laughs> So you see, he's a Shriner. Uh, see, this is what a Shriner Freemason. There's the sh uh, Shriner Fest. So already at the high degrees, totally delirious. I don't know what the guy is. He's brainwashed. So you, they brainwash you with the symbolism early on, and then get you. Uh, uh, 
we get you at the end. So here is Masonic author Mally Hall. When a Mason learns the key to the warrior on the block is the proper application of the dynamo of living power, he has learned the mystery of his craft. The seething energies of Lucifer are in his hands, and before you may step onwards and upwards, he must prove his ability to apl properly apply this energy. Seething energies of Lucifer. And here is Anton LaVey. Masonic orders have contained the most influential men in many governments, and virtually every occult order has Masonic roots. <coughs> Satan, Satanic ritual is a blend of Gnostic, Kabbalistic, Hermetic, and Masonic elements, incorporating nomenclature and vibratory words of power from every, virtually every mythos. Now looking at the double eagle, which is the emblem of Freemasonry as well, um, and you see the double eagle. This is the Roman double phoenix. So they disguise the phoenix as the eagle. Uh, in the Alp Encyclopedia of Freemasonry, the whole rite being considered as a representative of the Holy Empire. What is the Holy Empire? The Holy Roman Empire. All it is is the offshoot. Now, what I found in my research, they formed the organization and appear to distance themselves from the organization. Intelligence tactic does that. Al-Qaeda is a, is a product of the West distancing ourselves from Al-Qaeda uh, because Al-Qaeda was funded to fight uh, the Mujahideen uh, in the uh, uh, Middle East. So anyway, uh, watch out. Ordo Ab Chao, Order Out of Chaos. Here's the Masonic Double Phoenix. Here's the Roman Empire Double Phoenix. Here is the Habsburg Roman bloodline double phoenix. That's Germanic Roman blood, bloodline. And here is Ger Ger uh, Germany's double phoenix, as well as Russian's double phoenix. And Kanye West likes to wear Chanel's double phoenix. And then you have uh, uh, the Roman Empire, the Holy Roman Empire. The Roman Empire, I believe, never fully disintegrated. As a matter of fact, it transformed itself into the Holy Roman Empire. And that Holy Roman colonial system is with us today. If you understand Daniel's prophecy of the revived Roman Empire and these, the legs of iron and the feet of iron mixed with clay, ten toes, it, it all makes sense. We're going to see that a little bit. But uh, I see this as the Roman Empire um, now being revived and that final empire devouring and just transforming itself into devouring the whole world. The key to the mysteries here, you see here, uh, Templar Orders of Freemasonry, you see the reference to the goat, Edward uh, Arthur Edward Waite. A Templar Orders of Freemasonry, you see the cross and crown. This is not a Christian symbol. This cross and crown is the same as the square and compass, it is the female crown with the male cross joining. And that is Templar Orders in Freemasonry. Magic, uh, and you can see the use of the hexagram with the the reflection here, triangle above, triangle below. You see the caduceus here uh, with the cockatrice. This is a bird and snake combined. That is in the Bible. And then key to the mysteries, you see the key here. So you saw the keyhole in, uh, uh, what's his name's book? Um, Oh, the rich guy. Uh, Warren Buffett's book, you saw the keyhole there. Well, he's saying that this is the key to the mysteries, and all you have to do is unlock that mystery. And that mystery religions are the pure doctrine of Lucifer is the, the basis of those, uh, those uh, mysteries. And so, uh, for instance, Satanism and Luciferianism, uh, I can describe it this way. Luciferianism is the white witch and Satanism is the black witch or the dark witch. So it looks good, but it's the same. You understand? And they have different rituals. This is more purely black magic as opposed to white magic. You, got, you see that. Um, Life magazine, you see masonry and the use of the triangle. Let's end all the discontent. Elect a mason president. More open then, and you had a lot of Mason uh, presidents. I'm just going to move through these quickly, show you who they are. Head of the FBI, a Shriner. Truman was a Shriner as well. You see uh, John Wayne. There's Truman. There is the gavel, which is used by uh, judges. It's Masonic, Scottish Rite. Scottish right here, Liz Aldrin, 
the New Age magazine, again, the Masonic magazine. The New Age magazine turned to the Scottish Rite uh, Journal. They changed the name. So now uh, British royalty, you see here, King George. Uh, like I said, all genres, Prince Hall Lodge. There's Jesse Jackson, Nat King Cole, uh, Desmond Tutu, is that it? Richard Pryor, is that uh, huh? Louis Armstrong, yeah. Uh, uh, Sky Pippen here, Shaq, and look, he's gonna, he's just, he just made it. Actually, it was on ESPN. He just uh, showed his ring and all, and just became a poor guy. So I just Masonic uh, inaugural ball. Here's uh, Barack Obama, 2008 Newsweek um, article, 2007 or 8 Senator Obama, and this hand, whether it's Obama's hand, wearing a square and compass. Uh, Bill Clinton says, given my affinity for Catholics, it's ironic that besides music, my major extracurricular interest from the ninth grade was the Order of the Malays, a boys organization sponsored by the Masons. There's Obama holding up a square and compass. Uh, Mozart, Isaac Newton, Mozart. Uh, interesting here, three sixes as flames. You see these kinds of flames on the KKK uh, uh, flag. Here is King Kalakawa, was a Shriner Mason. His statue is on Kalakawa, uh, Islam there. And you see here, this image is actually in the Masonic Lodge in Washington, D.C. So talking about a King Kamehameha V was a Freemason as well. So uh, talk about, you know, selling your people out. And then um, moving along, all countries represented. Here's Brazil. There was India. Uh, my wife, she got saved after I did about three months later. She saw the change in me. And uh, I was born again in 2009. Um, and she did this research for me just to prove that Japan has been involved as well. Square and compass. And you got the um, uh, checkerboard of Freemasonry there. And then look at the hidden hand of Freemasonry. I get all choked up because the Lord saved us all. And then uh, here's uh, Mao hanging out with a Freemason. And you're going to see in the revolution section that, that all revolution was fomented by Freemasons and it was a changing of the systems on social experiments. Uh, this particular one is capitalist. Uh, they call America the new, new Atlantis. Um, and then the communists as well, Freemasons fomenting uh, communist revolutions, all the way back to the French Revolution. I don't know if you saw Le Miserable. Anybody, did you see the eye in the triangle in the back uh, of that symbolism there as well? So uh, they show you what they did. So there's Dubois, Chinese Freemasons as well. And here's Marilyn uh, Manson uh, wearing two rings, square and compass, and the pentacle. You can read about thousand famous Freemasons. Helena Blavatsky, she is a theosophist. She is the founder of theosophy, also a Freemason. Here is her 33rd degree uh, diploma. Helena Blavatsky, you see the two obelisks. Sometimes they have, the, these diplomas have two of the false pillars. You see some of the imagery here. Here's the Egyptian Ankh, as well as the hexagram and the swastika, the Ouroboros as well. Uh, which is the snake biting the tail, and then Lucifer, a Theosophical magazine, Helena Blavatsky, Lucifer again, uh, her disciple Annie Bassant, Annie Bassant here, she's doing, she's a Freemason in co-masonry, so you see 33rd degree emblem there, and then she's doing a uh, hand or the uh, sign of the uh, lion's grip or lion's paw. Uh, Masonic, her husband, uh, Ledbetter, Masonic, oh no, that's not her husband, but Ledbetter is a, another kind of pope of Freemasonry. He was involved with an offshoot of the Catholic Church, so here you see he's a bishop here, so both Freemason and bishop, and then his uh, writing of uh, Masonry and its ancient mystic rites, I of Lucifer, uh, just so happens that you see Zeitgeist, uh, Krishnamurti, anybody heard of this guy, Krishnamurti? Anyway, Annie Bassant discipled Krishnamurti, and he happens to be on the 
entering stage. I mean, my friend from high school says, oh, you heard about this guy, Christian Mernio? He's just great. He's so wise and all that stuff. So Zeitgeist Addendum, he's here explaining. And he's theosophist. All right. Now, Andy, Alice Bailey, another disciple of uh, 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 Helena Blavatsky. They all channel demons. Her demon is called Dwaj Kul. So, and instead of demons, they call them ascended masters. So she's channeling some ascended master. Here are your ascended masters. Uh, Dwaj Kul is here. Uh, look at, does that look like kind of your classic Jesus going on? Watch out. Look at what's going on. Just watch out uh, about what kind of idolatry you may have or what have you. And just be careful. Um, that's what this is just to be uh, make you aware of. Her Lucifer Publishing Company, 1922. By 1925, they changed it to Lucis Trust. Lucis, the same word, <laughs> Lucifer. Uh, but Lucis uh, not being so blatantly Luciferian. The externalization of the hierarchy, they are externalizing the symbols on the masses now. The spirit of masonry, Foster Bailey, her husband, they hold a seat of the United Nations to this day, does Lucis trust. You see the laurel leaf representing the elite over the, this should be an insult to us, the United Nations again. So the elite covering Caesar wore the laurel leaf. And then uh, you see there's uh, 33 segments in this world uh, map. Um, the United Nations Meditation Room has a giant magnet that goes all the way to the foundation. So if you get these magnets, you know, you feel a little like less pain or whatever. Imagine the giant magnets, like uh, uh, 10,000 times what is on here. Your deal. You feel this something in there. You feel whatever. But the actual shape of the, the meditation room is a truncated pyramid. So you sit back here, and then this image or this painting, and you can read about that, the cult of the all-seeing eye, and what this painting represents. The New Age magazine again, theosophy and the use of the pentagram, man there. Uh, this is what they believe. Lucifer represents life, thought, progress, civilization, liberty, independence. Lucifer is the logos or God, the serpent, the savior. It is Satan who is the god of our planet and the only god. Luciferian, I'm not going to go there. The esoteric meaning of Lucifer. This is on their website, Lucis Trust. All we have to do as the uninitiated change this word here to exoteric. It's our meaning that we're getting. And she's just telling you Lucifer and Lucis come from the same root word, Lucis being Latin generative case meaning light. So all it means is light. To them, it's the entity Lucifer. We saw that by the Mason saying, uh, that is an individual out to help people. So anyway, the in great invocation. Many religions believe in a world teacher, savior, knowing him under such names as Christ, Maitreya, Mahdi, Bodhisattva, Messiah. They're bringing everyone together. The church of Laodicea is the harlot church. Revelation, the woman riding the beast, is the harlot. Jesus is exclusive to himself. We're not to be mingling with other religions. That's just uh, doesn't make sense. So we should understand true Christians are never going to be involved with this type of, of push for world peace for the sake of world unity. That's why they're going to think that we're uh, not peaceful. No, the Prince of Peace is going to come down and take the title deed to the earth, Revelation 5, back from Satan. He's going to open up the seals. And we understand Ruth and her story and the title deed, uh, the kinsman redeemer to the title deed of the earth. Occult world. Uh, this is an example of the truth movement. I'm what's called part of the truth movement, but I'm the biblical side of the truth movement. This is the occult side of the truth movement. They're going to expose Freemasonry as being not good. So they're exposing money and the bankers and all this stuff is not good. But they're equating Freemasonry, of course, with Catholicism, which is what they say Christianity, and therefore Christianity is all not good. Do you see how that works? So, And by the way, that's a very funny handshake that he has there with Zachariah Sitchin. And Zachariah Sitchin is the 12th planet guy. i got to get a better image of that. But anyway... He's on the internet here in a Masonic Lodge covering his face. But that's Zachariah Sitchin. So 12th planet, Nibiru, aliens, 
uh, that kind of stuff. Ancient aliens, you see the lightning bolt coming out from the uh, uh, from the saucer, and these guys are hanging out with Michael Sarn. He's a known Luciferian. The biggest truth truther on the planet now, the on the occult side, is David Icke. So he's with uh, him, uh, and then uh, he's hanging out with the UFO hunters. This circle with the, called the circumpunct is used in masonry. It also represents the sun. The circumpunct does, and then you have uh, Art Bell from Coast to Coast. Look at the logo for Coast to Coast. So you get all this hocus pocus on there. Truth mixed in with lie, and then here's uh, David Icke. Now he claimed to be the son of God, I believe, or something like that. Anyway, in this interview as a young man, uh, he also there are also channel demons. He calls his demons quote the guys. So he says the guys told me, all right, and then so does this guy. He this he uh, claimed to have a story, and he tells you the, about these demons visiting him, like uh, five or six or seven of them. And then in a talk show, uh, the lady asks, "Do you know Hel Helena Blavatsky?" And he says, "Yes, I have all her books, and she's one of the greatest uh, writers. Her Secret Doctrine was the was the best uh, volume." So all Luciferian zeitgeist the movie. You see the symbolism, the single eye symbolism. You see the Jay-Z Roca illumination triangle coming from that. You see the Eye of Lucifer, Cult of the Serpent. That's You can buy that T-shirt at Macy's at one time. I was uh, a graduate in architect, uh, architecture. I'm an architect, and I actually contacted the Venus Project. I believed that I was doing my part to save the planet, being a green, ecological, sustainable uh, architect. That's not to mean that we're not to be good stewards of the planet. Yes, we should be um, good stewards. And I'm all into being ecological. Um, so uh, that's fine, but that's not going to save the planet because we still got this problem of sin and uh, there's just no way to get rid of it um, uh, but by the blood of Jesus. So anyway, um, the Venus Project is that project. Venus, again, coming up. Here is... Uh, uh, Acharya S, The Christ Conspiracy, Greatest Story Ever Sold, equating uh, Horus, the sun god Horus, to Jesus as being all worship the sun. We disproved that with, with Ezekiel 8, and then Gospel according to Acharya S, in the use of the, uh, the yin and yang symbol. Um, I am going to show you video. No, I'm not going to show you. So... Uh, so that they that zeitgeist says they have we have a god spirit and then they show this symbol with that sign. So it's exalting man over God. So Lucifer and Satan at the top papal bloodlines. I believe that the Roman papal bloodlines are still uh, in power today. Black nobility. Uh, this is not doesn't have to be you know end all be all charts. But I yes, Satan and Lucifer at the top. God is in control of everything. Satan and Lucifer has uh, have dominion uh, here. So you have uh, currently you have the Jesuit general here, Loyola, Adam Weisup, who was a Jesuit, uh, is associated with forming the Illuminati through uh, Los Alumbrados, which was from Spain, and he's Germanic uh, from Germany. Uh, Black Nobility Council, Jesuit Council, Jesuit Order. Now you see Zionism here with Rothschilds. These are the bankers. They're Jewish bankers, or uh, whether or not they say they're Jews or not, we don't know. Uh, uh, aristocracy in the knighthoods, Knights of Malta. So you see the knights there. Give me control of a nation's money. I care not who makes for laws. That's a Rothschild. This, this name has become very synonymous with global banking and corruption. Illuminati Brotherhood, Secret Society, uh, Secret Services, CIA, Mossad, CFR, Council on Foreign Relations. As Satanists, we were told that the Illuminati were very powerful satanic spiritual beings, uh, which is not entirely false, but uh, but the, because the Illuminati is possessed by these beings, we're not dealing with flesh and blood here. This is another chart. Jesuits at the top. Here's Rome, Illuminati, CFR, International Banking. Mafia, Club of Rome, Catholic Church is the biggest financial power, wealth accumulator. Yes, she is. Rome, we just saw here. Rome here. We saw here Jesuits, Illuminati, Masons, Theosophists, Lucis Trust, United Nations. So this is a pretty good chart. 
you see the New Age movement as well up there. Uh, you'll see some of this Knights of Malta here going on to CIA. Uh, there just happens to be a General Boykin going around to churches. Uh, he is a PsyOps, which is CIA. He is a Knight of Malta. So within the churches, we're going to see some of this stuff. So please stick around. So I'll, you can watch the video to get this chart. Uh, it's on YouTube. So anyway, here is Loyola, black nobility, Jesuit general. Uh, those are the Jesuit generals, outgoing, incoming. Uh, even Blavatsky says that the uh, offspring of, of these uh, leaders were uh, the sons of the uh, Ignatius Loyola, the original Jesuit general. Happy birthday, Illuminati. May 1st happens to be a satanic holiday, Beltane's Day. Here's um, Rihanna with uh, Adam Weissop on her arm. They're blatantly showing you Rihanna, princess of the Illuminati. Right now it's fantasizing reality. You go on the streets and like, Illuminati, ha. <laughs> Give me a break. So that's what they're doing. If you're going to get deceived by here's Rothschild dynasty, uh, Rothschild banking, unholy trinity, the Vatican, the Nazis, and the Swiss banks. You open up a Swiss bank account, it's all private. Uh, I believe this is the way that they uh, funded uh, things and that the Swiss banks are a uh, product of the Vatican. Uh, and then you see U.S. Uh, UBS, uh, United Bank of Scotland, checkerboards. Here, just showing you kind of like a chart here. Here's the Jesuit generals. Aldo Brandini family, Farnese, Jesuit uh, families, Orsini, uh, de Medici. We well, you know the Medici's uh, funded a lot of art and stuff. These guys put guys like Warren Buffett to shame when it comes to how wealthy they are. So Warren Buffett, you think he's rich. These guys, the, the guys that you don't even know are uh, even more powerful. So you see them here. You see Order of St. John. Then you see here um, uh, Knights of Malta. And then you look at the adornment. This is Masonic, 33rd degree emblem. Look at the adornment here, crown. You see the way that it's adorned. It's the same thing as the Roman uh, Catholic Church. Look at the Queen of England lower on the chart. She's a Knight of Malta as well. She is allowed to reign on her country uh, and that's how they do it. If you want to be part of our system, we'll allow you to be in power. Uh, but when it's time for you to go out, if you're not going to go down quietly, we'll take you out forcefully. Uh, it's run just like the mafia. Roman Empire, Italy, mafia, Sicily, remember the Dons and all that stuff. Same thing. That's how they do it. If you're not playing the game, you're assassinated. Um, uh, just looking now at the American uh, banking cartel, the creature from Jekyll Island, 1913, uh, the foundation or the uh, founding of the Federal Reserve. Here's the Rockefeller, Rockaware, Rockefeller, J.P. Morgan, Schiff, Warburgs. Here, it's a pyramid scheme. They just print money out of thin air. They print money. Here's their federal uh, ba banks that are uh, central banks, Bank of Japan. There's two countries in the world that don't have central banks now, I believe is North Korea and Iran, but don't think that they're not part of the system. I do believe they still are, uh, but maybe they're regimes that don't want to go down quietly. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but debt equals money in our society. This is the debt clock. The richest countries in the world have the most debt, and so we have a credit rating. Who's, who's giving us credit? The Federal Reserve, central banks give us credit. So they don't care who makes their laws, but if they have a control of, of the money supply. And so we are indebted and enslaved. Uh, you pay three or four times your mortgage, plus you pay your interest up front if you pay for a house. Um, so here is the Club of Rome dividing the world into ten regions. The Rockefellers themselves saying we're building a one world uh, system. Club of Rome. Just happens to be ten toes in the vision of Daniel for the final kingdom. We're right at the end. They're trying to put all this together. North American Union, European Union. Uh, they have South American, African Union. And they're trying to put this together. Hey, uh, Satan's going to only have seven years. And that's it. That's all uh, uh, God is giving. And it's all God's script going on. Here is a uh, signing of the EU at the Vatican. Here is imagery from the uh, European Union. 
Revelation 17, woman riding the beast on coins, stamps, and parliament buildings. The parliament building itself is modeled after the ba uh, Tower of Babel. Uh, Europe, many tongues, one voice. You have the inverted pentagrams, and you have the people with block heads, uh, with the baby as a round head. That should be an insult to us. So he, the baby has not conformed yet. Emblem of the 33rd degree. Here you saw this with the Roman hand of power, the laurel leaf representing the elite, showing you what looks like Christ, but behind their evil. Roman, uh, Hitler was a Roman Catholic. Concordance with Rome, meaning agreements with Rome. There is the friendship with Rome and, and the Nazi uh, regime. And then the Roman salute, you saw that. Uh, the former pope was a Nazi youth. You see the uh, uh, Roman salute there. Uh, Nazi party with uh, uh, Nazi party with Islam. I'll show you over here. Islam and the Nazi party in this chart. And you can see it in plain sight here. Hezbollah. These are Islamic, radical Islamic organizations. Hamas using the Roman salute. I believe the leaders of Islam are in the hands of Rome. And they're playing the dialectic. Islam, they're radicalizing. Even the West, they're radicalizing. General Boykin's going to go around. You're gonna, we got to go fight them. No, we got the gospel of peace. Pray for our enemies. And we have a, a, the gospel of peace shot about on our feet. This is a fundamental difference about what's going on and how they're radicalizing the West as well. So Islamic terrorism, uh, and you see that Himmler said it, our Ignatius, uh, Himmler as our Ignatius of Loyola, referencing the Jesuit general to his secret uh, SS guy, head of the SS. Look at the reference or the reverence to uh, the skulls and uh, uh, ancestor worship or, or whatever, deifying them. And then uh, look at masonry as well, uh, skull and bones, uh, representing poison and, and uh, pirates. Uh, George W. Bush, uh, Yale Skull and Bones member. George W. Bush, the son, the father, and the grandfather, all Skull and Bones. John Kerry as well, they happened to run against each other. He got tased because he actually asked the question. Um, and then the Skulls look at War, that's a movie. Uh, four Skull and Bones members, signing of the National Security Act, creating the CIA. And therefore, you have Bush, who was the head of the CIA, and then the son coming and speaking. Grandfather Bush grooming the young Richard Nixon, recruited by MI5. The name's Mussolini, Benito Mussolini, recruited by MI5. How can a fascist be recruited by uh, uh, the West? So you have here Masonic. Uh, not every Mason uh, apron has that on the back, skull and bones. But anyway, skull and bones, sickness. Here's, yeah, he's uh, supposed to be Pirates of the Caribbean, right? So he's doing this and doing that and uh, everything else. Well, here's controlled minds. We'll get into that mind control later. That's Rihanna. All your fraternities are Masonic. So you can go get initiated at a Masonic Lodge, which my friend was at Long Beach State. I'm not going to go into this too much because we're getting toward the end of, of now for lunchtime. People are hungry. So we got uh, Order of the Knights Templar, uh, trampling on the cross, Gnosticism. Using uh, using Knights of Malta, the double cross used in Satanism as well. You saw that Masonic emblem. I do. I'm going to go over this Knights of Malta here. Knights of Malta. Here's that Maltese cross. Uh, here's the Nazi version of the Knights of, Mal of the Malta. Uh, Germany, and then you have Mussolini, Franco. Queen of England, Queen Beatrix. Queen Beatrix is the uh, owner of Shell Oil. And then her father, Prince Barnard, Knight of Malta as well. So you see the CIA, Knights of Malta, and the elite uh, forming the Bilderberg uh, group. That's become pretty known now. They go out and uh, plan the world. Uh, Wild Bill Donovan, CIA, and then you see FBI. Knights of Malta, Haig, General Haig. Now you see General Boykin. He goes around the Calvary Chapels. He's, I think he's coming here, Ottawa Conference. 
Watch out, they're inside the churches. They infiltrate. The enemy comes in, looks, smells, and feels like the same thing. And then he is a Catholic uh, Knight of Malta Grand Chancellor. He hangs out with Gen uh, Rick Joyner. If you see Rick Joyner's, Joyner's ministry, Morningstar Ministries, on the Internet, it's straight out um, demonic. I mean, there's people, whatever. Um, crazy. And so he supports his ministry. They're both Catholic, Roman Catholic Knights of Malta. And then you see here, um, I'm just going to go here. She's wearing Maltese cross. And then he renounced Satanism only to put on and become a Knight of Malta. Uh, Sam and Dave's Jimmy, all he did was change uniforms of he's using the peace sign, which is a Roman symbol as well. All right, I'm going to stop here, and we'll go on in a second. Thank you. Please come back. Like I said, um, and if you have any questions, I'm going to be sticking around. I have a little bite to eat here, but I'll, I'll stick around if you have any questions. All right, thank you.